Hey guys, it's Landon with Redefined Horizons. This is a short video I'm doing for my CAD tech and field surveyor Brit. We are going to, uh, in this video, we are going to export a DXF file from Carlson Survey and then we're going to import it into uh, QGIS. And then I'll just uh, do a quick second video where we, we go in and we attribute that data. So. I've got QGIS open. We're just going to do this in a, in a brand new project. So we're going to say a new project. And then we're going to go project properties. And we want to set the coordinate system. So we're going to use state plane zone three feet. We'll say apply. And we'll just go ahead and save this. I'm just going to save it to my docs folder here. And I'm gonna call it DXF import. Okay, now I've got a DXF already uh, that I've exported from Carlson Survey, but let me just go ahead and we'll show you how to do that real quick. All right guys, so I have my CAD drawing open here in Carlson Survey. And uh, what you can do this in BricsCAD too, by the way. Um, and I actually have a copy of the drawing and the reason why is I'm going to delete the points out of here because uh, if you import this uh, DXF into QGIS, you're going to get little line segments for all the points, which we don't want. So we're actually going to select those, and we're going to say select similar, and we're going to delete them because uh, when you bring those in, the points, you want, to, you want to bring them in as an XYZ, delimited XYZ file. So we want to make sure we just have the lines. I believe that's all I have now. So these are our surveyed lines for that job. Okay, and then I'm going to run the... I don't know why you can't get to this through the menu in Carlson. I don't, at least I don't think you can. But you're going to run the command DXF out. Just type that at the command line. And I'm going to call this uh, boundary line work. And we'll go ahead and say eight places. Okay, so then it, the export's complete there. You got to put in the number of decimal places you want on your accuracy. So we'll go ahead and close that. Okay, so now we should have a DXF that we can bring into our QGIS project. So we're going to say layer, add layer, vector layer. And we're going to go browse for that DXF. Okay, so I'm going to grab it here. We'll say open, add. Now it's going to pop up this dialog. If it if it sees different kinds of entities, it'll let you choose. All I have is lines, so it's just giving me one. But if there were points, it would give you a points. There'd be a row here for points. So we want to go ahead and import the lines. We're going to say add layers, close, and you can see now I've got those same uh, those same uh, lines that I had in uh, Carson Survey, and they even look the same. Okay, so uh, what I want to do now uh, is save this out. So you can't do a whole lot with this layer until you export it. So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, that's not what I'm going to do because I have another layer that's set up. already has the attributes and the styling that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and add that layer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to copy those line segments over uh, to that layer. So I'm going to go up to my vector data file for this project and we want to open this landlines geo Jawson file okay so I have it now it's empty though so I'm gonna click this little command here and make it editable and then we are going to make our select tool active here and I'm gonna select all these lines and I'm gonna say edit copy then I'm gonna click on RH landlines and say uh, let's see, edit, paste features. Okay, and now you can see I have that. Now I noticed I had a, I've got a, some duplicates now. <clears throat> so you can see these are the old GIS lines. 
this is the surveyed location that's the GIS line so I'm gonna just delete those there should be one here I think an extra nope that was not it I thought there was one more that looks good now okay so now uh, now that that we have the the geometry there the reason we do that is because when we open our attribute table now uh, we're gonna have the attributes we want which is right here okay that's why I pasted the features into that layer now I believe I have a style set up for these already so we're gonna open up our properties and load a style so let's go see if we can find that okay I may not have the style defined for this yet I don't okay so we'll have to set that up so for now I'm not gonna pick that atrocious pink and I like to work in pixels I'm gonna make these four pixels and I like to round do a round bevel and cap join and, and cap I mean okay so we've got those uh, those are in now from our DXF so now they're not attributed yet I'm gonna show you that in a, in a separate video so we're gonna go ahead and save that project and we're gonna we're gonna save the layer edits and save the project and then in the next video uh, we'll put in the quad map backgrounds and I'll show you how we can attribute this